I love this backstory. Would you mind telling? Oh, they, the, don't, the, they don't know why? I think some Bengals fans do for sure, but I just love that backstory of, of the pre of the pregame practice. Yeah. But it was Carson's idea, right? Yeah, it was Carson. That was Jordan Palmer's idea. Jo oh wow, okay. Yeah. So, um, I don't the Ocho Cinco name, where, how it came about. Um, we were playing the Atlanta Falcons that week. Obviously, it's Spanish Heritage Month in the month of September, and Jordan Palmer comes up with this idea: Oh, you should put Ocho Cinco on the back of your jersey. I'm like, No, that's stupid. Why would I do that? Then he said, well, it's Spanish, Spanish Heritage Month. So I had uh, Rex. Rex was our equipment guy at the time. I had him make up the, the name tag Ocho Cinco with Velcro on the C, over the C. Johnson. So I go out for pregame against the Falcons, and I warm up with Ocho Cinco on the back. Mm -hmm. And right before kickoff, Carson tears it off. Yep. So the game ends. The next morning, I get a fine from the, a fine from the NFL for $30,000. i am like... It says altering the NFL uniform, and then I appealed it, and they they didn't give me the appeal, so they took thirty thousand. So what I did was I waited till the end of the season, and I went to court. I changed my name for real to force the NFL to put it on all my jerseys. And made some money off yeah. that too. <laughs> it's like um, I'm not trying to curse. It was like a f you to them just for being <laughs> just for being mean. So. It turned out like a, a way to, to get back at the NFL, but it turned into a brand after that, and I just I just it just took off. It's been amazing since. It's turned into a, a marketing miracle.